Hi, I am Helen the Rooftop Knitter and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this cardigan for baby with raglan sleeves. We are going to need 100 grams of yarn, size 3, 4 mm knitting needles, yarn needle me measurement tape, buttons, markers and a needle and thread. For a newborn size, we are going to need a total of 60 stitches, uh, 6 for the rib, 8 for the left front, 6 for the arms, 16 for the back, and these ones are one stitch to make the raglan uh, sleeves. Okay, if you wish to um, make any other size, I made a formula so the total of the stitches are going to be uh, like this. N is the number of the stitches uh, needed for the back. And to calculate the slips, we're going to divide this number by two minus two. And that's the total of the stitches for my sleeve. And in the same way, we can calculate the ones for the front and the ribs are going to be always six stitches. And these ones, the base for the for the raglan um, sleeves they're always going to be only one stitch to start cast 60 stitches with the number four needle the first row is an elastic one so it's going to be one knit one purl it's going to be a little bit tight because it's the first row. After that, it's going to lose a little bit, but for now, it's very tight. So it's one knit and one purl the whole row. We just follow that pattern, one, one knit and one purl. The second row is exactly the same like the first one. So it is one knit one purl, one knit, and one purl, the whole row. And we can see that it's a little bit looser, it's not as tight as before, and we can knit smoothly. In the third row, I'm going to open the first bottom hole. And it's going to be one knit, one purl, one knit, and then after three stitches, I'm going to knit two stitches together, like this, two together, and then purl. The rest of the row. It's going to be one knit and one purl until I finish. For the fourth row, let's start splitting all the stitches for the neck. So first, we're going to need six for the rib, in my case, for the newborn size. This one, two, Six for the rib, and then one marker, and then continue with the eight stitches for the front. So that's two, four, eight, one more stitch, 
This one is one more stitch for the raglan sleeve. So that's one stitch, one marker, and then let's follow this pattern to split all the job with the markers. Once I split the whole job and separate it with markers, I have to close the bottom hole here. Yeah, I only got five stitches left. So what I'm going to do is knitting one, then purl, yarn over, purl, knit, and purl. So yarning over has added one more stitch. The stitch, um, the stitch I I I got rid of uh, the the row before, and we're going to have six stitches again. Now, so now my fifth row is going to be very important because I'm going to start adding stitches around these markers for the raglan sleeves and start uh, making the, the yarn. And also, I'm going to close the first button hole. The first one is a knit, then one purl, one knit, And here in the bottom hole, one pearl on top of the bottom hole, one knit, and one pearl. That's how I finish my rib with the bottom hole. So I pass the marker and I start with the first half of the front. For the first half of the front, it's going to be all knit. I'm going to start only knitting for the front. So it's one knit, two knits, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight knits. Passing my pattern. Okay, you can see now that there is no rib anymore. Um, I'm knitting the body. And from now on, let's start adding all those stitches. To add one more stitch, a yarn over. Pass my marker. One knit. One yarn over and one knit. So now I need six more stitches for my sleeve. In this marker, I yarn over again. One knit, yarn over, and knit. Let's do this for the rest of the row. And after that, I'm going to tell you how to close all these, um, all these holes for the yarn over. Before finishing the row number five, don't forget that this last marker is not a yarn over. It's just a way to split the rib with the body. Always leave the last six uh, stitches for the rib in elastic, uh, in elastic stitch. 
for row number six, let's make a rip of six stitches again in elastic stitch. So it's knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, and purl. Don't forget that this one is not a yarn over, it's just a way to split my rib from the from the body. So now row number six is going to be pearl. Just pearl like this. Pearl. The whole row. The only difference is that every time we find a yarn over, we're going to twist it. Otherwise, it will leave a hole. This one, it's a yarn over, and what I'm going to do is twisting it. I won't pull from here, I will pull from the back, like this. Pull from the back. And this will twist the stitch and no hole will left. This one is the base stitch for the raglan, so just purl it as usual. This one is the other yarn over. I'm going to twist it again. Pass my marker and continue purling. So every time we find a yarn over, we're going to twist it. Otherwise, it will leave a hole there and that's not what we want. We continue like that until we finish. And uh, don't forget to need elastic stitch for the last six uh, stitches for the rib. Row number seven is going to be very similar to row number five. So, it's elastic stitch for the six first, for the rib, and then knitting up here, up the marker, adding one more stitch, then knitting the base one, adding one more stitch, knitting the sleeve, adding one more stitch, and so forth, until we, com we continue. We do this exercise until completing the whole yoke, which is this. The length of this raglan styles cut is going to be the number of centimeters for the back multiplied by 1.5. In my case, The back, it's about seven centimeters. So seven centimeters by 1.5 is 10.5 centimeters. More or less 11 centimeters if you want to round it. So this part from the neck to the armpit has to be 10.5 centimeters. So we continue um, knitting this way until we complete this length. This is row number 15 already. And the raglan style is very notorious now. So this one is my guide. Is the stitch we left between the front and the sleeves and the back. And we can clearly see all the stitches we added to the sides. And there's no hole because we twisted all the, all the stitches uh, through the back. And for people who already realized, we got two additions here, left and right, and only one here for the front because the rib has no yarn overs. And now, Every three centimeters, 
Don't forget to add one more button hole. So this is row 15 for me, three centimeters. And we add one more button hole. So it's one, need one pearl, one need, two together, and pearl. And we can we continue adding the stitches uh, until we complete the 11 centimeters we, we spoke about before. In summary, always remember to leave the six stitches for the rib at the beginning in the elastic stitch. The front is always in neat stitch and every time we we get the corner we're going to have three stitches in one like this. The back is always in pearl stitch and we have two twist all these stitches, the three stitches, we have to twist them and also don't forget to open the bottom hole at a proportional distance. In my case I decided to open the bottom holes every three centimeters which is about 12 rows so every 12 every 12 rows have two need three stitches and then two together The next row yarn over on top of the two stitches we diminish to add back the stitch missing and that way we close the bottom hole. Then to finish up with the bottom hole, just pull over it and what we are going to get is the bottom hole. Once the 11 centimeters are completed, the next step is separating all the stitches for the sleeve with, with a yarn, with a string. For that, I'm going to knit this last stitch, the base one. And then I'm going to reserve all these stitches with the string. Once I reach the other side of the sleeve, what I'm going to do is I leave this one still in the in the needle. What I'm going to do is just pull in this string and then tie it with a knot. And 
and I just reserve all these stitches for the sleeve for later. Now, to join this together again, what I'm going to do is putting this stitch back so I got the two base stitches here and knit them together. The rest of the bag is just going to be knit stitch as usual. For the other sleeve, the same procedure applies. Then I reserve this base stitch to the right for later. And start separating all the stitches for the sleeve as well. Once all the, all the stitches for the other sleeve are reserved, then put back this base stitch here and knit them together these two base stitches the one on the right and the one on the left they both together to join the armpits and then continue knitting until the end of the row. Once completing the front row, I'm going to pair the back and always remember to knit the rib. It's one knit and one pair, six, six stitches. And six and after that it's just purling the whole row you see after joining it together it's just knitting and purling straight once completing 10 centimeters length from the armpit Let's start knitting the bottom rib. For that, I'm going to knit elastic stitch again. So that's one knit, one purl, one knit, and one purl. Until the end of this row, is the whole row. One knit and one purl. Let's repeat one knit and one purl, one knit and one purl, and we're going to continue with this sequence until completing 10 rows of elastic stitch. After that, we will close the bottom rib. Once the 10 rows are done, the next thing to do is closing the rib over. So that's one knit, one purl, and then I pass the first stitch over. Then one more, and passing the stitch over. one more and passing it over this will close the whole job so let's continue until the end of the row once once the whole rib is closed just 
got the yarn. And close it. So, so far, we already have the body. It's very well shaped, as you can see. And the next thing to do is to um, recover all the stitches. For that, we will need circular needles to recover every single stitch. And let's continue like this until all the stitches are recovering the needles. Once all the stitches for the sleeve are recovered, we just pull the string and get, get rid of it and start knitting the sleeve. For that, we attach a new piece of yarn here through the back. very tight knot here so now let's start knitting the sleeve and it's always a good practice to put a marker before every single row so it's just knitting until completing the whole sleeve. Once reaching 12 centimeters long for the sleeve, let's start knitting elastic stitch. So let's finish the two knit, then one knit and one pearl, one knit and one pearl again until we complete 10 rows for the wrist. one knit and one pearl until completing 10 rows. After completing 10 rows of elastic stitch, let's start closing the wrist. Like one knit, one pearl and then Passing over the first stitch. Then one knit, passing over the first stitch, one pearl, passing over the previous stitch and so forth. And this is how it looks.
Once the whole wrist is closed, we just cut the yarn, then using the aid of a yarn needle, we're going to Take a stitch, the first stitch we close from the other side, pass the yarn over inside the loop and pull. This will give us a very nice finish here and after that one more stitch from the outside to the inside and after that what we have to do is disguising all the loose yarns like this so nobody will notice that um, this is the end of the yarn Let's keep doing that, that until um, it's not noticeable anymore. And the whole sleeve, it's about 15 or 16 centimeters for a newborn size. In the same way, we're going to start um, recovering all the stitches for the other sleeve and knit in the same fashion we did for this left sleeve. Finally, the last step would be sewing the buttons. And don't forget to disguise all the loose, uh, all the loose yarns. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.